During this video, we are going to be talking about using Google Hangouts to rank really easy on Google with videos and how to drive that traffic back to our website, our sales page, our squeeze page, whatever it may be, all right? So first of all, what is Google Hangouts? Well, basically, this is a service from Google through their Google Plus network, which is their social network, where you can record live video, you can have conference calls, uh, you know, some kind of like party chat type thing. You can record live video and have an audience. And when you are done with that video and you finish it, you stop your broadcasting, it's going to automatically be uploaded to YouTube for you. Okay. So it's almost like uploading your own YouTube video, but this way, you know, it's going to be going through your Google Plus account. It's going to be live. And then when you finish it, it's going to be automatically uploaded. All right, so why should we use that at all? Why not just upload video straight to YouTube? Well, for one, you get instant authority when it's added to YouTube, okay? So for one, it's going through Google Plus, and basically, you're getting a lot more outlets by going and doing Google Hangouts aside from just going directly to YouTube because Google Hangouts is definitely fairly new. Not a lot of people will use Google Hangouts yet. It's one of the newer things that just came out these past few years. So by taking advantage of that, we get instant authority, since it is owned by Google, we get massive weight inside the Google search engines. We can use different social signals to boost to page one in no time, like Fiverr, which I'll go through that here in just a little bit. Of course, we have the opportunity to go viral by being embedded on one or many different sites with our, you know, our unique link. And of course, we have the ability to tweak our on-page SEO once we are finished. Now, just let me show you an example here. I searched commercial real estate construction loans and we can see the second video here or the second link is a video. And if we click on this video, we are going to see at the top left hand corner, this is a Google Plus video. If you see this symbol here, that means this video was recorded through the Google Hangouts and then, and then it was automatically published to YouTube. Okay, so they are ranking number two for this search term and we see these ads on the right hand side here. I guarantee these people are paying most likely, you know, $10 plus for every single time someone clicks on their link, right? 10, $20, maybe more for every single time someone clicks on these links. And this gentleman here just got ranked second by simply doing a hangout with Google Hangouts. Okay, so this is a very, very stupid, simple process. So step one, you need to find a long tail keyword, just like this here, commercial real estate construction loans. You can use any keyword tool. You can use the Google keyword tool, search for any kind of keyword you want to rank for so we can find our long tail keyword. I recommend the search results be at least 1000 to 10,000 monthly searches, you know, per month. If it's anything more, I find it a lot harder to rank for. So aim for the 1000 to 10,000 searches per month mark. And then go to Google and search that term and see if there are any videos on the first page or not. If they're not, that means there is a spot open for you to rank. Step two, you need to create your Google Hangout. If we head over here to plus.google.com backslash hangouts backslash on air, you are going to see a screen like this that is currently showing all the different people who are currently broadcasting live right now. And at the top right, we can click on start a hangout on air and you're going to be able to start recording your own hangout with your webcam or you can share your screen instead, do a PowerPoint presentation, do whatever it is that you want to do as long as you are providing great content for your viewers. Step three, we need to optimize this for the search engines. So when you start your hangout on air, you can change this information later but we need to give it a name and a description. Now your name needs to be your keyword, your long tail keyword that we are focusing. So for example, I could do Indianapolis oral surgeons. And then for my description, I could say, tune in for my interview with Dr. Smith as we discuss the benefits of healthy teeth and a special offer for all viewers. So maybe I'm gonna be interviewing, you know, an oral surgeon named Dr. Smith in Indianapolis. And then at the end, we're gonna have some kind of offer, some kind of discount, something like that. Or if you don't have anyone to interview, maybe you could say tune in as we discuss, you know, the top seven things you need to do, you know, to keep your teeth healthy. And then you go through some kind of PowerPoint presentation or something like that by yourself. Next, we're going to have it start now. We're going to have it public and then we're going to click on share. Step four, we need to start sharing our live feed that we have now. Google is going to give us a link and we can embed this on our website. We can start inviting people to come watch our live stream and we can post it wherever we want to post it. Now, like I said, once you're done recording your live broadcast and you stop it, it's going to be automatically uploaded to YouTube. As we can see here, I am on one of my videos and we can see that we have our title, the Indianapolis Oral Surgeons. We have our description 
And now when it's uploaded to YouTube, you can come back in here, you can make sure that you have your keyword in your title, make sure your description, you know, mentions your, you know, your keywords or, you know, has a website link so I can click on this here. Make sure I add a link to my website here. Or whatever it is that I'm trying to drive them to. And make sure we save that so that when it ranks on Google and people come and view our video later on, they can, you know, look in the description and see and get all the information that they need once they get done watching our video. Now, step number five, we need to create some backlinks to our video. And this is just to, you know, help get our video ranked a lot quicker. And it's definitely going to help us get to the top for our keyword in no time. So what I like to do is I just like to hire people to build my backlinks for me. You know, I give them $5, they send backlinks to my video, they send social signals to my video, you know, on Facebook, Reddit, all those different things. And they just build a bunch of links for me, pointed back to my video. They use my key phrase, my, you know, my, my long tail keyword. They use that as the title when linking to my video. And it really just helps speed up the process. So like I said, with these Google Hangouts, just do a live recording. Do a PowerPoint presentation, if nothing at all. That, that's the least you can do is a PowerPoint presentation about your topic in your niche. And then when you stop your broadcast, go back, add your tags, use relevant tags, make sure your, your key phrases and your title include a link in your description, and then head over to Fiverr and hire some people to send backlinks to your video. A very easy but not very known way of ranking videos on YouTube. Like I said, a lot of people you know, are not using Google Hangouts because it's fairly new. So this is your time that you can really take advantage of it and get a bunch of videos ranked on the top of Google fairly quickly.